Sirach chapter 39. Verse 28, and it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they poured their force and appeased the wrath of him that made them fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It's a fearful thing. To fall into the hands of the living power. Now I'm reading straight out the Bible. The same Bible that set your and my watch chimed in. The same Bible that set your house collecting dust. Yeah. That book, that book, that part. I'm reading out of the Bible that the God of the Bible has created spirits for vengeance. Jeffrey Dahmer. Son of Sam. Jim Jones, not the rapper. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, and many, I can't think of them all, man. Jason. Michael Myers. Spirits that are created for vent. Don't, don't make me get some more names. I, I get some. Hold on. Ted Bundy, John Wayne Gracie, Jeffrey Dahmer, Gary Ridgway, Jack the Ripper, the Zodiac Deleter, Harold Shipman, Albert Fish, so forth and so on. Look, 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 over and over, Pedro Lopez. You see, Aline Woodnose. Charles Albright, so forth and so on. All these are spirits, the, the serial deleters. Shit up, serial deleters, and the Lord has created them for vengeance. Let's, let's get it again. This, this is not a power to be playing around with at, at all. At all, Israel. I'm sitting just going through pictures of serial deleters like, man, and the Lord created all of them. Men, men, serial deleters and spiritual created for men and women. But Jake's out here mocking and scoffing and just playing around. The Lord has a spirit created for vengeance waiting on you. Just, just, just waiting. Hey, he just had one come against that um that rapper girl from, from Oaktown. From, from L.A., from the Bay Area. Uh, was her name? Tan the God. T Tan the God. She thought she was a goddess. So the Lord had a spirit created with vengeance. Go to her, uh, her meet and greet. I did it in the news earlier, man. Look at this demon on the screen. You, you, you mean to tell me you really want to meet a guy looking like this in the alleyway? Or coming out of the grocery store? Or coming out of the mall? Coming out of the damn barber shop, right? Or the car wash. Or coming out of the chicken spot, right? You want to meet a guy like this? Look, Sirach chapter 39. Repent. Sirach chapter 39, verse 28. And it reads, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Are we not hearing this? The Lord has actually created spirits to get at you, man. Which in that theory, lay on sore strokes. And these spirits that are created for vengeance, they get at you for real, man. They please the Lord when they go out and do his bidding, man. They lay on sore strokes in the time of Jim Jones, not the rapper. Can't forget him. I'm looking at a long list now. 
I'm looking at a long list now, man. You see? Cannibals and all that, man. Which in the fury lay on such strokes. And in the time of destruction, they part their force and appeased the wrath of him that made them. And I went through some of the names. Fire and hell, fire and hell, them hailstones, them forest fires. They just come through and just burn everybody's house down. The hell storms, a hell storm happened a couple of weeks back. They said the hell, no, said it was the size of boulders, man. All these are spirits created for vengeance and famine. People, people are being deleted by way of starvation. That's a spirit created for vengeance and death. Just people deleted bodies everywhere. All these were created for vengeance. The Chainsaw Massacre, that was based upon a true story. Facts, right? Just the facts, right? Teeth of wild beasts. The Lord put spirits on these animals and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. And the Lord said, greater evils. The evils, the bad times that we see now, the Lord said, greater evils are coming. More intense Horror, horror, more horrible, horrible. So, so these things, they're saying, gonna punish the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in His commandment. Those spirits created the vision, they're gonna smile when the Lord give them the green light. They're gonna smile, Israel. That's why Habakkuk said, "I heard thy speech, and I was afraid. I, I might have to get that." They shall rejoice in his commandment and they and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. It's not a shortage. It's not a shortage of spirits created for vision. It's not Israel. They said they're going to, the spirits created for vision said they're going to be ready when, it, when the time comes. You see? And when that time has come, they shall not transgress. Are we not, are we not hearing this? They're not going to say, oh, yeah, that's a tall guy. He, he was famous. That, that's a beautiful woman. She can sing good. She can cook good. She has a BBL. The, the spirits create a vision. They ain't doing all that. The spirits create a vision. They're not doing all that, Israel. They're going to seek and they're going to destroy, man. But you you have it you have it your way. Play around and you have it your way. The Lord said, look, we're living in proudest times. We're, we're, we're at the end of an age. Habakkuk chapter 3. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. Let's get this. And it's supposed to be the mind state of all of us. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. And it reads, O Lord, your howl, I have heard thy speech. How, how did how did Habakkuk hear the speech of the Lord through the prophets, man? And was afraid. And was afraid. And after, after reading the scripture like Sirach 39, starting at verse 28, if that doesn't you know saying, shake you up and make you want to get your act together, then I, I don't know what will. Lord said, so I created these things for vengeance. This, this is how I get down. Somebody lied to you and told you I was all lovey-dovey. So somebody told you wrong. That's exactly what they did. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. And it reads, O Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Not proud, afraid. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. And in the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. In wrath, remember mercy. Let's get another one. Just, just flowing right. Matter of fact, don't even go nowhere. Just get this. Zephaniah chapter 3. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. And it reads, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. And it reads, the just Lord, the righteous Lord, Yahweh, is in the midst thereof. See, see, seeing all, knowing all. Hearing all, he would not do iniquity. Ain't nothing. The Lord, the Lord is perfect with everything that He does. All right, ain't no flaws in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, if it happened, it was meant to happen. He would not do iniquity. Every morning, do if He bring His judgments in light. Cause He got no spirits created for vengeance. Every morning, do if He bring His judgment to light. He fell of not. He fell of not.
but the unjust, the unrighteous, no, no shame. So you got spirits everywhere. Just, just, just go, going to get it. Judgment happened around the clock. And these wicked people are seeing it. But look, look, ain't no shame in their game. Ain't no shit. All, all these nappings going on each and every day. Shit, women coming up missing like I don't know what. Women see all these things happening. They still hanging out late night naked as hell. L look at the thugs. The thugs seeing people, the thugs and the gangsters. You know what I'm saying? They seeing people getting blasted down. You see? Brain matter all over the ground. They still ain't turning turning back from their nonsense. They get a they get a thrill out of being wicked. They get a thrill out of being you see e evil. You see, but for every hard rock, the Lord said, yeah, 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 you, yeah, you get you wicked, you evil. But I got a spirit created just for you. I got a spirit created for vengeance just for you. All right. This is how the Lord gets down, but the unjust know of no shame. So no matter how bad it's getting, and the Lord said, all the sinners of my people shall be deleted by the sword, which say the evils shall not overtake nor prevent. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. Our people see it's getting bad out here, but they say it's not going to stop them from continuing on in their wickedness. That's what they said. I'm just repeating what they said. Amos chapter 8, Amos chapter 9, verse 10. The sun quick. You Israelites are going to run into a guy just like that on the screen. You see that, man. You you see that demon. You're going to run into him soon come. It, it might be tonight. It might be tonight, man. Amos chapter 9, verse 10. And it reads, all the sinners with a sin transgress another law. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evils, meaning these bad times, shall not overtake nor prevent them. Our people are basically saying, no matter how bad it's getting, it's not going to stop them from being who they are. You see, it's not going to stop stop them from being thugs. It's not going to no, no matter how bad it's getting, it's not going to stop them from being thugs. Thug life, right? It's not going to stop them from being a gangster, right? It's not going to stop them from being a bad bitch, right? It's, it's not. It's not going to stop them from being a damn three hundred four, right? A H to the Izzo, right? It's not going to stop them from being an adulterer, right? It's not going to stop them from being a thief, a crook, a criminal, right? That's what they say. But the Lord's saying something different. That's the thing about it. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh is saying something different, man, from what they're saying. Let's get this. Psalms chapter 70. Remember, it's over, and I got to get that too. Matter of fact. Let's just get this is the, let's just click on this right quick. I, I want to get this though. I want I want to get this. Lord got me got me thinking about. It. Let's just get it right quick. Hebrews. I quoted a couple times. Let's just get it right quick. Hebrews chapter ten. Let's just get it. Hebrews chapter ten. Hebrews chapter ten verse thirty one. Just click on it. Hebrews chapter ten verse thirty one, and it reads: It is a fearful thing. To fall into the hands of the living power. I don't, I don't think our people really know what this scripture means. I don't think our people, the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, I don't think they really understand what this scripture is basically saying. Hebrews 10, 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You, you Israelites, you get, guess what? You're going to run into a spirit like Jeffrey Dahmer soon come, Right? That's exactly what you're going to run into. You're going to run into Ted Bundy. You're going to run into a spirit like Ted Bundy soon come, right? What, what about Jack the Ripper? What about the, the Zodiac Deleter? It's a whole lot of them. And you Israelite men too. It's, it's women deleters out there too. Look at look, look, look. Be, Belly Goon ass. You see? I'm looking at it now, man. You see? Elizabeth Bathra. You know what I'm saying? Elizabeth Bathro. You see? What, what, what about Alan Wuo Nos? What about that, man? Men and women. What about Charles Albright? You see? What about Pedro Lopez? Spirits created for vision. What about David Burke Owitz? 
Berkowitz. What about Albert Fish? Look at these names up. What about Harold Harold Shipman? You see? Gary Ridgeway. What about that? Wayne John Wayne Gracie. What about that, man? Spirits created for fear. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Let's go back. Let's go right on back. Some quit. I was going through some nice little photos of these spirits created for vengeance, these serial deleters, and they're like, get it in right quick. Give them one for me. Give them one for me. Psalm chapter 78. Let's go here. But you bad. You bad, though. You ain't got nothing to worry about. You bad. You, you got all the answers. And if, when a spirit created vengeance come upon you, you got all that. You say you're going to do this. If somebody come upon you, you're going to do this. And if they do that, then you're going to do this, right? Okay. You got it. You got it, man. I'm going to pull out my pepper spray. Oh, really? Really? A pepper spray against a blicky. Who wins? A pepper pepper spray against a blicky. Who wins, man? Psalm chapter 78, verse 49. I'm going to run. I'm going to call 911. Really? Psalms 78, verse 49. He cast upon. I'm gonna call the thugs. I'm gonna call my. I'm gonna call my boys. I'm gonna call my homeboys. Really? The Lord like yo. Not not the day you won't. Not not today you won't. Not not tonight, sir. He cast upon them the fishes of his anger, wrath, and indignation, meaning meaning righteous anger, right? And trouble. By sending evil angels among them, evil, evil angels among them. That's what the Lord's gonna send upon you, man. At least you repent. At least you. Re I just read it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And whoever perish being innocent, right? Whoever perish being innocent, choose you this day. Who you gonna serve, Israel? Let's get this. Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two. Let's just get it. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. And it reads, see now that I, and everything I say, I'm backing up with a scripture, right? See now that I, even I am he, the heavenly father, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Neither is there any that can deliver out of his hand. You can't can't nobody deliver you out of it, man. It doesn't matter if you got a blicky. It doesn't matter if you can run fast. It doesn't matter if you can hop in your car and push your damn pedal to the metal. You ain't getting away. You're not, man. So I just want to do a quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah on how deadly serious this message is. And you know I gotta get that. I gotta get that Ezekiel 3 and 17. I gotta get it. The Lord said, give them one for me. Look, because they're going to know that a prophet had been a, you, shit, you might, you might end up getting in the elevator, you know what I'm saying? And one of them step up in the elevator like, yo, I'm, I'm, I've been waiting on you. Look, what took you so long? I've been waiting on you. You might come out the bedroom and there's one sitting on your couch in the living room and he say, what took you so long? And you say, who are you? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? How you get in here? How you get in here? I'm about to call the police. I'm about to call the police. He say, really? Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Be my guest. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. We warning you, Israelites, the Lord has created spirits for vengeance. And if you don't turn around and repent, which means to return, the word repent means to turn back remorseful, regretful, supposed to contrite, supposed to feel bad. We supposed to feel bad for all the things that we did wrong. In this life and our former lives, our, our own for thoughts, sayings, and doings. The Lord said he's going to judge every man and woman according to their ways. Look, look the Lord just, just judge, um, what was it, um, uh, Tan the God? That, that um, Oakland rapper has somebody come to the meet and greet and blast that thing down. And let that thing ring off, you see? But like I read earlier in Amos chapter 9, verse 10, 
They said they said the evils should not overtake nor prevent it, but it will. Yeah, I just want to do something on the spirit of creative event, and I brought out a couple of names. You see, I brought out I brought out Jeffrey Dahmer, I brought out Ted Bundy. You see. Um, John Wayne Gracie. And you can go look up these names too and see and see what they did. And look, look and see what they did. You see? H. H. Holmes. You see? Gary Ridge, Ridgeway. Jack the Ripper. You see? Harold Spit Shipman. The Zodiac Deleter. Albert Fish. And many others. And many others. The Gorilla Deleter. You see? Pedro Lopez, Elizabeth Beth Ree, uh, Elena U Wu O Nos. Look it up. Charles Albright, Edmund Kepper. You see? And many other. You see? The Chainsaw Massacre, Chucky, Freddy. Oh, uh, uh, Jason, Michael Myers, you name it. Karen, Karen, Spirit's Creative Avengers, Shalom.